Hey guys, today we're taking a look at my heroic deck. Now, just to get this out of the way, because I know a lot of people will mention it. Um, so this deck is kind of an interim deck, kind of a placeholder deck, until the OCG cards come out. When the OCG cards come out for heroics, it's going to be a much, much stronger deck, and we'll have a lot more going on. So if you want a TCG build for this deck, something to hold on to, you know, until the OCG cards come, come out. This is kind of, you know, what I'm going with. Seems to run decently well, but again... When those other cards come out, it'll get much stronger, and I'll talk about that when I get to the side deck. So, obviously, the idea behind this deck is bringing out um, warrior XYZs that are very powerful. So you're using the heroics in addition to their um, various random warrior stuff that you can do, and some support uh, as well. So first off, we're running three Blue Mountain Butter Spy. Really powerful for this deck, um, allowing you to, you know, just crazy swarm, bring up those warrior XYZs very easily. Um, so just very nice in this deck. Then one Dust Knight. Dust Knight is just allowing us to send one Double Lance to the graveyard, allowing him to get a bit more consistency. You could run more than one of this if you want, um, because otherwise it can be annoying, but uh, still working uh, fine for me having one in the deck. But again, the choice is there. And then three Goblinberg, uh, just allowing us to additionally do even more swarming so we can get those Warrior XYZs out. You know, obviously between Blue Mountain and Goblinberg and the other Warriors, we're going to be able to bring out XYZs uh, pretty easily. And then three Heroic uh, Challenger Double Lance. So Double Lance, kind of annoying to use, but can be useful uh, when you set up things well, hopefully with Dust Knight sending uh, one of it to the graveyard or getting two in your hand, depending on what you're doing. You can still swarm well with this, but because it's kind of an annoying card combo, um, it can be difficult at times. And then three Extra Sword. So very nice that you can give an XYZ monster additional 1,000 attack. So helping you out with a lot of different XYZs. A lot of XYZs are going to become a lot more potent. And it's going to make those warrior XYZs uh, pretty insane. And I'll talk about that in the extra deck. And then three sword shield. Very nice defender. So we have this 2000 defender that also has his neat ability to, you know, um, help us protect things. The protection effect isn't, you know, as necessary all the time. But having another heroic card, 2000 defense, can still be uh, very useful helping out with the archetype. And then one, Bergzak, so just giving us additional power outside of the XYZ can be a very powerful card. And not that hard to keep this out with all the warriors that we have. And then two Photon Thrasher, uh, obviously giving us a bit more consistency, kind of taking the place of some of the heroic cards that will do that in the OCG. So it can be very nice for this deck. And then we have one Dark Hole, two Forbidden Lands, obviously to protect those XYZ is very important. Two Heroic Chance, just insane in the right situations, you know, with Excalibur, um, you'll be able to get to 8,000 attack, so it can be very powerful. Two MST, uh, Reinforce of the Army, very good for this deck, obviously searching out what you need. Definitely good for making uh, Double Lance more consistent and just do a bunch of the plays you want to do. Then two Soul Charge, just kind of a backup in this get deck, getting those XYZs out um, can be very, very useful for this deck. I definitely like having uh, this because we're going to make use of a, lot of a lot of that graveyard stuff. And then two of the Warrior Returning Alive, very, very good for this deck to reuse some of the powerful stuff we have access to, so very good. And now for the traps, uh, mostly staple traps, not too much to say there. We are running one Heroic Retribution Sword. I do like this card. It's kind of a weird card to use, but I think it can be useful in the right situation. So I'm trying it out and kind of having fun with it. So like using one of those just kind of as a random tech choice that uh, supports the deck. So now for the extra deck, obviously we're going to be running a lot of those Heroic and other Warrior XYZs. Excalibur becoming insane with some of the cards in this deck. Very, very powerful. Blade Armor Ninja, if he gets that 1,000 attack boost, it's going to be crazy having Blade Armor Ninja on the field. Gandiva, helping us uh, deal with special summon monsters, which is uh, very, very interesting that we can kind of uh, get rid of things, so it can be very powerful. Kusanagi can be very powerful to deal with traps, very nice. Maystroke, Gagaga, Ouroboros for swarming, you could also run Desigmea or something like that. Photon, Silent Honor, Lava Low Chain can be useful for uh, Double Lance, but I'm still kind of debating that and Exiton Knight. Pretty much staples, and a lot of those Warrior XYZs backing us up. So now for the side deck, if you haven't seen a video of mine before, when I'm talking about side decks, I just mean, you know, recommended cards that can also be useful for this deck. Cards you might want to think about when you're building this deck. Just some other ideas I'm throwing out there. So Spartan is some a card that some people run. I feel like his effect can be useful, but I'm kind of annoyed that it doesn't really help you do what you want to do with this deck, so that's kind of uh, the issue that I have. Um, Field Commander Raz can be decent to set up things that you want to do, but kind of slow, help, doesn't help you swarm. Command Knight helpful to protect another defender that also has a pretty interesting effect. That, uh, so it's it could be useful. I definitely could see running this. Warrior Lady of the Wasteland can help you special summon some of the other heroics. Grand Soil, if you're running all Earth, then you could consider running this, but I'm not running all Earth. Photon Slasher, you can run this because you have a lot of XYZs and then you can do like a 5-star kind of hybrid thing. Um, 
not really what I'm doing. Um, then the OCG cards, just to bring talk about them before, you know, they will be added. Assault Halberd, really, really good. Man, this card is so good. Um, being able to special summon and swarm and search out and do piercing. So really good card overall. Definitely going to be running this when it comes out. Uh, Thousand Blades, also very useful to swarm. And everyone knows about this guy, number 86. Going to be extremely powerful when this comes out. Um, kind of like a superpower Hazy Flame card. So really, really crazy. I'm going to like running this. Definitely other support cards you can run. Uh, Assault Armor could be extremely powerful uh, in the right situation um, with certain attack boosts that you're using in this deck. There's a bunch of other XYZ support cards you can consider. XYZ Unit, XYZ Gift, you know, the XYZ Traps, all the other stuff like that you can consider running. Uh, the A-Forces, other Warriors support cards can be useful. Solidarity, we are running all Warriors, but I do like to have access to other XYZs. Solidarity can still be really powerful for this deck, so definitely a choice. Call the Haunted um, can be useful for swarming. Again, bringing out what you need to obviously make those XYZ plays. Uh, there's other random stuff. You could run like Trap Stun. Um, Copy Knight can be useful. Reinforce Truth if you're running some of the other lower level heroics. So a bunch of other ideas you can think about there. So that's my heroic deck. Again, just kind of an interim deck using the swarming of the warriors to bring out what you need. Um, when the OCG cards do come out, it's going to get much better and get a much more competitive and have a, have a lot of different things going on. So I'm very excited about that. But if you do want a TCG version, this is just some ideas you can throw around and kind of think about when you're running this deck and have fun with it until those cards come out. But if you do have your own heroic decks, you can definitely post in the comments. Let me know what cards you're using. Make some suggestions for me. Maybe there's some cards I didn't think about that could be really good for this deck. So definitely post below and give me some ideas. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.